Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And i uh, got a good one for you today because I am at the OP Pro Surfing Competition. And uh, they get about 500,000 people out here. And this is just unbelievable how busy this is. This goes on for two weeks. And uh, during the weekend, it's... Uh, just absolutely packed, but they take over all of Huntington Beach. And uh, you can just see the people out here. But today we're going to cover hey, look over here. You know, don't pay attention to what's really happening. And uh, let's get right into it. Thanks, man. Hey, how are you? So, first things first, guys the banking debacle. And I got to give a victory celebration to the old economic ninja. On May 2nd, uh, I had somebody send me a bunch of news stories. But one thing she said, she goes, did you know that the economic ninja called the latest bank failure on May 2nd? So Robert of the ninja for doing that one. So with that happening, guys, it's a big deal that you're starting to see these things co collapse. Fridays. Friday is the, is the bank failure day of the week. One thing that I've been talking about was you're going to see more companies that are going to merge right now than ever before. And they're going to call this, oh, the strategic alliance, smart business decision. No, this is going to be survival. The uh, latest Heartland Bank uh, merging, it's completely survival. This is going to happen more and more right now. Now, think about this. The latest week of loans information that we have show that loans for businesses and commercial lending went down over a billion dollars for two weeks in a row and it's basically the second week of july so we're basically a week behind right now this is a terribly bad sign because jerome powell the one thing that he did say was that the economy is going to have headwinds moving forward when it comes to uh getting credit so guys this is going to seize up. This is going to completely close down and you're not going to be able to have funding for your small business. And man, oh man, oh man, the bank lending, all they're pushing right now for mortgages is HELOC loans. If you want to get a HELOC loan and you want to tap the equity out of your house, go do it right now. But to sit there and make this the money that you use to live on a regular basis, again, it's insanity. Look over here. There's no, nothing going on. There's so much wrong in the world right now that you have to look at it. There are multiple states right now where they're having mail delivery get canceled. Why? Illinois. Think about this. They're closing postal facilities because of robberies. They're closing uh, delivery in certain sections of Chicago because of mail carrier uh, threats, uh, violence, robberies, everything. Okay? So this is insane, guys. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Look at all the people down there. So it's absolutely crazy, guys. Totally packed down here. I'll get some more footage of this for you, too. But this is the beginning of this, guys. You're going to see so much more of this. So banks and their credits are getting shut down right now. You're seeing that happening all around us. You're seeing... Uh, why is Colorado having problems with uh, uh, mail delivery? Seriously, I didn't know Colorado was a hot spot for crime. No, it's a hot spot for crime wherever there's no uh, police. Vallejo, California, we talked about this in the last video and how they don't have a police force right now. They basically have 30 people in its entirety that work for the police department and they're deputizing anybody that, can, that will be a police officer. So look at this place, guys. Look how packed this is absolute chaos down here but what they do is they mark it off so that you can drive and have walkways that are safe but man oh man this is crazy um, the south side of the pier this is north this is south that's where the competition's at and you've got world famous surfers out here but you have vendors and this is the first time uh, since 2019 that this thing is totally back open to normal so two week long event and basically the weekends are absolute chaos down here. You can't park, can't find anything, but uh, 
one thing that they used to do that was great, if you came down here and you set up a regular umbrella, they didn't want any pictures that didn't say OP Pro. So they would, they, people would know this and you'd, we would bring two umbrellas out and like, you know, have advertising on it, Coca-Cola, whatever. And they would say, hey, listen, if we give you a free umbrella, we use it and put that one away. Yes. So the, you'd see a sea of umbrellas. That's the only thing that they're not doing right now. But uh, just to give you an idea, let me poke you through here really quick. See how many people out there? It's absolutely crazy. But the HELOC loans are on fire right now. The bank lending right now. I'm telling you guys right now, if you have a relationship with your bank, you need to talk to them about your funding, your credit card situations. That's the other thing that we're starting to see is we're starting to see credit card merchant accounts where you swipe the card. Those are getting shut down right now. Well, we didn't do anything wrong, Dan. Why did they shut us down? The reason for this is because they don't want the exposure and they're going to start picking industries that they think are going to be vulnerable to not getting paid. So they don't want you to take a deposit and not get paid. They don't want you to sell something and not get paid. You're going to see this happen more and more and more right now. So look at this, man. It's just packed out here. So, you know, share your thoughts on this stuff. Uh, the U.S. debt uh, climbed... Uh, 392 billion dollars in 20 days so since the last time uh, i reported it 392 billion dollars guys they're just spending money like it's like it's going out of style absolutely free but this is the side without the competition look at how packed that is Isn't that crazy it's nice it's because it's kind of overcast it's not that hot out here so it's kind of nice so our lending is absolutely insane. Now, here's the other thing. Do uh, you guys have Trader Joe's where you live at? Trader Joe's just got hit with a, uh, uh, a recall. And the problem with the recall, the problem with the recall is they had falafel and they say, hey, listen, our falafel may have rocks in it. So you need to, you know, bring this back to the store right away. And, you, you know, do you pay attention to that stuff? Do you care? The thing that's concerning about this with Trader Joe's is that this is the fourth recall in a month that they've had. The last one was cookies. They had cookies at the Trader Joe that had rocks in it. So what are they, you know, is, is somebody sabotaging it? What's going on that there's rocks in the cookies right now at Trader Joe's? So once again, hey, look over here. Don't pay attention to this. But that's insane, guys. The cookies are insane. The problem with lending is insane. The problem with the banks trying to get you into... Uh, a HELOC loan. Hey, listen, it's, it's your house. It's your ATM machine. Purvis wrote me and said, Dan, I really want you to step up and tell us what you think about renting over buying right now. I think you're a fool right now if you buy right now. I think that you need to do everything you can with you and your significant other or yourself and not buy a house right now. Go out and rent. Look at, look at Vegas right now. You can rent a beautiful two bedroom, I mean, three bedroom house in a nice neighborhood. Sorry about that. Got the three bedroom house right now for 1900 bucks, guys. Can't buy a house for that. So if you want to live in Vegas, you got that. Look at all these professional fishermen out here. And this place is going to town right now. So, and they went to town. Look at this, guys. Look at all these guys. Okay. So, you can't do this. I, personally, right now, I'm a big fan of renting. Am I on the sidelines? Yes. Am I looking for uh, everything right now? Am I looking for, uh, you know, fourplexes? Am I looking for the right thing? See, this is the thing. As a single guy, I can go live anywhere, guys. I can go live in a unit and rent the other ones out. So, it's really open for me as far as what I can do, but I don't want to sit there and uh, I'll be tied to some house payment. So it's crazy right now. So, you know, share your thoughts on that. Again, look over here. Think about this. San Francisco is an absolute dive. It is an absolute hellhole. And Elon Musk has just changed the uh, logo from the bird on uh, Twitter to X, okay? So what did he do? He went and hoisted up a big X on top of the building. Read the story below. City of San Francisco, you know, which is ridiculous. The fact that this guy is in San Francisco, they should be they should be washing his car. London Breed should be out there uh, uh, asking what he wants for lunch every day. 
that's me. The fact that he's there is insane. Twitter should move uh, uh, months ago. Anyways, they put a big X on the building, and there's a story. Listen, they may have yeah. violated permits. They may have not gotten the adequate permits to put that X in the building. That's what you're going to be concerned about right now. Again, look over here. The insanity, the absolute insanity of the X on the building over... professional surfers out there. You can see everybody out there. Isn't that crazy? So, oh, the waves are huge today too. So it's really nice. But you're going to sit there and give this guy grief over an X on top of the boat. He may have violated the permit uh, policy, Dan. So we need to do something about this. Now I know that there's code enforcement fools that have nothing better to do than take down signs for people's garage sales and things like that today that are going, listen, this is the rules. Well, good. Why don't you get people from sleeping in the streets and defecating in front of hotels that I won't stay at anymore and clean up that city and take a fire hose to the ground? Okay, why don't you do that? <sighs> Has nothing to do with the code violation, Dan. Sure it does. It's ridiculous. So let me know what you guys think about that. But, uh, man, oh man, the wave. Gosh, the waves are perfect for this thing. <laughs> Look at that. Look how big they are. So absolutely catastrophic plus you guys like the new mics been testing out a bunch of new mics and the sound's been pretty good lately so let me know let me know let me know okay when you go anywhere you need to be leery of the credit card skimmers right now it's really important that you go out and you look at this there's been several walmarts in july where they caught credit card skimmers at the checkout and people go use their cards and they think that everything's okay. And then they find out that, uh, you know, it's, it's not Walmart at all. It's somebody else and their money gets seized and, uh, they, they go out and I've had this happen to me before. I used a parking meter and, uh, didn't know, you know, that I, that they'd taken my data, but the city that had this alerted everybody and told them that this is what happened. So. You know, you have to you know protect yourself and look for all this stuff. Also, look at fake QR codes too, because that's the other thing that people are trying to to pull off. To continue with our theme of hey, look over here. Uh, there's a woman, got a great article from Business Insider where she's saying, I will no longer stay in an Airbnb. I think it's morally wrong. I think I'm not getting my money's worth. And I'd rather have a hotel, have the amenities, and have everything you get with a hotel. That's the future, guys. But you're, what you're seeing with Airbnb, you're just seeing that market completely crash right now, guys. There's going to be such an influx of properties on the market. And, uh, you know, oh, Dan, it's not going to drop the price. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. We'll see about that. Ford, CEO Jim Farley. You know, Ford really doubled down, man. They said, well, you know, we're going all in on uh, electric vehicles. How about this, guys? This year, they're going to lose $4.5 billion. $4.5 billion. What a, what a solid business model. What, what leadership losing $4.5 billion? You know, you just couldn't put your foot in it and have one car and perfect it. You got to just go all in and at shareholders, you know, cost. So, you know, what a disaster. They had 870,000 cars just get recalled, uh, the F-150 trucks, and now they're having this happen. So just a matter of time, guys, until this completely goes south. John Hussman, who is John Hussman? John Hussman is one of the men that called the last two stock market crashes and says that we're in for an absolute devastating uh, stock market crash for the S&P 500 that it could drop. I always love these odd figures, 64%, not 65, not 60, not 55, 64%. So if you believe this, okay, you know, there's a guy that sits there and thinks that. So share your thoughts on this stuff right now. A lot of people out here, not that many people at the end of the pier, but uh, let me know what you guys think about this so far. One thing I want to remind you guys for the last time is that the Real Estate Foreclosure Pro class that the Economic Ninja and I did 
is 80% off. It's normally $1,000. It's at $199 right now. And this is going to end in the next couple days. That's it, guys. So if you'd like to learn about foreclosures and take advantage of it, we did a great job on this. We did it with my friend Doug who runs the auction house. Take a look at realestateforeclosurepro.com or use the link below to sign up for this. And uh, again, it's $199 to get yourself the course on real estate. Now, again, look over here. Don't pay attention to what's going on with your own life. And Robert Schiller is a Yale University economist. He steps forward and he says, I want to make a, a call on the housing market. Now, this man is the guy that called the 2008 crash before it happened. He called it in 2007. So this is it. He's doing the same thing now. We've had over a 10-year run. This thing should have crashed in 2012 and did not. So what we have to see is we have to see price adjustments come down to a realistic level, and you're going to see that. So again, ignore this guy or take his advice. But I love when people have track records. I love when you have experienced people that have called multiple things and read the fortune article from this guy because he's spot on. And the idea with this is that it's, it's overdue. And you can sit there and say, Dan, there's not the inventory. There's this, there's not going to be the foreclosures. There are, it's going to get worse. And it's just a matter of time. Okay. So the economy right now is in a bad spot because you know, interest rates are sky high right now and they're only going to go up right now. Remember that. Oh, they're going to drop. I have people that write me and tell me that they're going to go down between now and the end of the year and they're absolutely delusional. So Zillow, anybody ever have their house purchased by Zillow? Uh, I ran into a woman at the hospital who said, I was talking to somebody on the phone about Zillow and she says, hey, pardon me, I couldn't help it over here. You know, I lived in Cypress, California and uh, had a house and Zillow came in and offered me $75,000 above the asking price for the house. So I, I had to take it. She took that money and went and paid for ca paid cash for a house in Texas. And so all I have to worry about is the uh, heating, electricity, and the property tax, which property taxes are sky high in Texas. So, okay, but craziness. Now, Zillow steps forward and Zillow is doubling down on everything right now. Zillow steps forward and says, here's 48 uh, markets that have bottomed out that you need to get into right now. Man, oh man, talking about a recipe for disaster. Go buy, guys. Go buy Go buy a house at retail right now. Go do it. If you don't think that this is in a precarious spot right now, I don't know what what is right now. Look at all these people out here. That's crazy. It was nice to be at the end of the pier to be alone because they're working on the restaurant. The restaurant's closed right now, so nobody's down there. Can't eat or drink down there. But uh, share your thoughts on this stuff. Ford, four and a half billion dollars they're losing. Isn't that insane, guys? I mean, it, this whole thing is nuts right now. Just look at all these people out here. Okay. So let me know what your thinking is on all this stuff. Do you listen to these experts? I do. I, I, I think it's if a guy has a track record and he's, he lays it out why you should look at this, I pay attention to that. Oh, this guy could just cut a fish. Okay. That's decent size. Okay. So let me know what you think about all this. One thing I always admire is when people's ingenuity is shown in the simplest of things. Victor is out here fishing. Look what Victor invented. Victor invented this guide that holds the pole. And he said that it makes it so that uh, he can tell when the fish jump. So isn't that cool? But, <laughs> but you can't argue with that. Look at this. this. Guy's got a bucket full of fish. So that is absolutely very cool.
I'm going to finish this video with just the last few stories. Retail crime has been an absolute disaster, guys. These people are not prosecuted. You've seen the videos in your local news. I don't care where you live, where these people are taking shopping carts full of stuff and stealing them. Now, high-end retailers are saying, listen, we're going to use you know, high-end detection uh, services and uh, different types of AI to watch these people so that they will not be able to steal from us anymore. And these groups of people are going to be prosecuted. Oh, okay, I'll believe it when I see it. Absolutely believe it when I see it. The Fed has a plan. The Fed's plan is if we make things so expensive, people will stop spending. Is that how it works? Seriously. If we make credit so high, you won't use your credit cards? I don't think so, guys. I think people are just debt hounds. I think people don't know how to save a dollar. I think that's a huge problem right now that people don't people don't know how to budget right now. And again, you know, live within your means. Steve yesterday, live within your means, Dan. Preach that. You're, he's absolutely right. Live within your means. Buy things that are not going to be depreciating. Silver, gold, things like that. And go from there. Final, Barry Sternlich. This is the final, final story of this video. And the guy said, listen, we're about to face a Category 5 storm when it comes to real estate. And uh, if you guys don't see the severity of how bad this is going to be, you're kidding yourself. But he thinks that prices are going to drop. But again, do yourself some research. Look at the areas you want to live in. Friends, my children, relatives, clients. I'm telling everybody, look at what's out there. Look at the properties. Look at the neighborhoods you want to live in and research that. Do a little Drayton name. Knock on the doors and learn this stuff. Learn the crime. Learn what it's like when it rains. Or learn what it's like when there's a big party in your neighborhood or potential neighborhood. Do that. Do yourself a research. Do yourself some research. And again, same thing with the foreclosures. They're coming, guys, in a big way. Educate yourself on that and look at that class that we uh, created. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the uh, uh, channel. Don't forget to join the email list. And if you did sign up for the email list, check your spam filter because an email went out. And man, oh man, this place is absolutely packed today. So onward and upward, guys. I will see you guys very soon. Don't forget to email me at hello at I allegedly. And I got some cool announcements coming in just the next few days. Okay? See you soon.